evening and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Each man comes into this fight supremely confident, expecting to deliver a W. Vladimir Klitschko's ring walk, just a cool, calm stride to him. Looks like just another day in his life. Mike Tyson's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. There you go. We are underway here, and we've heard from everybody that speed is going to be the big factor. Vladimir Klitschko's got it. Plenty of it. Yeah, now it's up to his opponent to come up with something. Maybe go to the body, take it away, slow him down. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Locks away that head shot. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Mike Tyson digs deep with a big uppercut. When Vladimir Klitschko cranks up that right hand, you need to get out of the way. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. A well-targeted jab that time. He missed that uppercut. Vladimir Klitschko, more than one punch at a time. This is a heavyweight fighter in Vladimir Klitschko that's willing to work. Strike after catching one by Vladimir Klitschko. Come on. A well-placed left hand up top. Good return fire that time. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Nothing there on the punch by Vladimir Klitschko. Everybody knows Vladimir Klitschko wants to do that right there. The jab, the straight, typically the win. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. I don't want you to slug it out with this guy, all right? Keep your range. Jab, jab, right, okay? All right, I need you to pop Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Keep on him. Don't give him a chance to set his feet and get any punches off. Klitschko's corner did a good job in that last round. They really got their fighter back to where he needs to be after being damaged in that last round. And that's not the only good job they did in the corner. They did a good job in the camp because obviously they have him in top shape 
and it's paying dividends right now. Vladimir Klitschko showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Vladimir Klitschko's combination punching is working well here. He is damaged badly there. He may hit solid, and he goes down. It was a magnificent combination that put him down. Now he has to get up. Three. Mike Tyson rises up after going down here today. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Back to the body. Nice jabs there by Mike Tyson. Keep working. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Keep your head moving. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Oh, that's good stuff. Solid up off the deck and now in control. He scores a knockdown of his own. And he turned it around because when his opponent scored the knockdown, he got a little careless, a little lazy. One, two. Vladimir Klitschko's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Great work offensively landing that combination by Vladimir Klitschko. Mike Tyson's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Vladimir Klitschko's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. of the top. Vladimir Klitschko's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum game. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I've, also, Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. A little head hunting with the right. Vladimir Klitschko is coming out here after being knocked down in the last round. Teddy, what are some of the things you look for that will tell you he's on steady ground, that he looks fine? Well, the first thing I look for is the base, the foundation. I mean, you look at a house, you want to see and you want to make sure that that basement is solid, there's cinder blocks there. You know, you don't want to see that upper floor waving a little when there's a wind. You're looking at his leg. You want to make sure that they're steady, they're firm. A crushing two-punch combo by Vladimir Klitschko. And still accurate with that jab. Oh, and he's got something. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Three. Klitschko's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Boxing writers are going to have a field day with this early knockout, Teddy. Praising one guy and tons of criticism is going to be targeted on his opponent. Yeah, two ways you could criticize his opponent. One is that obviously his technique was not right, and that came from training camp. But the other is more directed to his corner that they didn't warm him up right. I mean, he came out cold. There was no sweat on him, and he got starched. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. Enjoy the rest of your evening.